I happened to uh, listen to Father Rohr give a presentation on the cosmic Christ, and that's always been an interest of mine, and to see how this, this, this Christ of ours, this Christmas of ours, really can touch our lives. So I had asked him if he would share some of his thoughts, and he was willing to, to do that. Father Richard, thanks again for being with us and giving us your time. I know you're such a very, very busy happy, man. Happy to be here. The cosmic Christ, that's, that's a, a, it's, 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 a, it's a great understanding, I think, if only we could only grasp it fully, yeah. and maybe we, maybe we never will. Yeah. But, um, uh, but it really is the, the, the Christ, I guess, uh, beyond, I guess I'd say beyond Christianity. And we, we know how Paul writes so well and, and in Colossians uh, that uh, in the end there is only the Christ uh, in everything. And that with grace from the beginning until now, everything is groaning in the act of giving birth. You know, there are so many beautiful expressions out of Paul and John and, and to understand. But I, I don't know. And help me now and help us. I don't know if, if, if that's even a concept that lots of people have or, or do we ever even begin to understand it a little bit. You know, let me try to lay the foundation in this way. that In the first 2,000 years, uh, largely we fell in love with Jesus and we're grateful for that. Sure. We met Jesus. But in fact, we believe in Jesus Christ. Now, this will be a new way of thinking, but Jesus and Christ uh, came together in the one person of Jesus. But we make two different affirmations. I, Jesus has existed for 2,000 years. The Christ, and this is very clear, I know if I say it without quoting scriptures, people are going to think I'm making this up, but the prologue to John's Gospel, the hymn at the beginning of Colossians, the hymn at the beginning of Ephesians, the first chapter of John's first letter, they can check it out, all right? They all say without any, you know, hesitation, the Christ existed from all eternity, all right? And, and we just were never taught to think that way, that Christ is not Jesus' last name, right? Jesus became the Christ. So this, of course, gives us our foundation for interfaith dialogue, for the understanding that God has been working in all of history since the beginning of time. To put it very concretely, the Christ is born. The moment God decides to show himself the moment God decides to materialize. But in the first 2,000 years, most of the work, except for the mystics who largely got this, you know, mainline Christianity, Catholic and Protestant, has largely been concerned about Jesus the historical person, which is good. But what we missed out on was the cosmic Christ. The height of Christian seeing is to see God in everything. And when you don't see God in everything, you end up seeing God in nothing. And that's been our problem. We can't even see God in, in people who are not Christians or even people who are not our denomination, or, which isn't very good seeing. It, it means that we're not going to get very far. Then I guess uh, you separate nature and what word do I use? Supernature? But, yeah. but you know, if, if, as, you, as you're talking, when I listen to your talk at that presentation that I happen to be at, to, to realize more and more that, you know, it's all super nature, That's so to speak. Right. There's no such thing as merely natural. <laughs> That's the meaning of the incarnation, that the physical world is, yes, the hiding place of God, but the revelation place of God. It's only hidden for those who don't know how to see. So there is nothing natural for those who've learned how to see. Everything is supernatural. In the beginning, the first day, if I'm right, yes. let there be light. And everybody says, well, that's the, the sun and the moon. And I said, no, no, I think that was the fourth day. So what was that first day? Very good. And Very I, think, good. I think what I'm pulling from you and listening to that was that's the cosmic Christ. The first day is, well, I don't know what words to use, the glory of God breaking in, the, the, the triumph, the whole thing breaking in. You know, you know, now we know, here's where science is helping us so much today, that the intuitions that religion always had are now being confirmed. If there's one God, there's one truth, there's one reality, religion and science have to be, end up saying the same thing. But I must say, it was thinking that was largely lost for centuries. We thought Jesus was only in the bread, and we forgot that the first body of Christ was creation itself. And again, if people think that's heretical, St. Thomas Aquinas said it. I, he said the primary and essential 
revelation of the mystery of God is nature, is creation. And when we don't read the first Bible well, unfortunately, we don't read the second Bible very well either.